Good evening po sa bawat isa. Tayo po ay nasa ika-24th day na po ng ating daily devotion, season 13. And um, right now po, ang pag-usapan po natin is all about Jesus as our deliverer. Tayo pong lahat ay yumuko at tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoong Diyos, maraming maraming salamat po sa oras po na to, Lord God. Tinataas po namin kayo, sinasamba, pinapupulihan, dinadakila, Ama. Kami po'y lumalapit, nagpapakumbaba at humingi ng kapatawaran, Lord, sa mga kasalanang nagawa po namin. Maliit man po o malaki, intentional man po o hindi, Lord God. Gawin niyo po kami karapat-dapat sa inyong harapan naman. Lord, we thank you so much for this time, Lord God, na ipinagkaloob mo po sa amin upang mapag-aralan muli yung salita mo, Ama. And Lord, we thank you so much for delivering us, Lord God, through this year, Panginoon. We thank you so much for breathing new hope and new st- You strength, Panginoong Diyos, every day, Lord God. Thank you so much for, for providing our needs. Thank you so much for for always walking with us, O oh God, for always being with us, Panginoong Diyos, in every battle that we face, Ama. And Lord, as we study your word, we pray that continue to speak to us, O oh God, and tumanim po itong mga salita mo sa pinakamatabang bahagi po ng aming puso, Panginoong Diyos. At patuloy na, ikaw ang maitaas, madakila, Lord God. Speak through me, sa inyo po namin ibinabalik ang pinakamataas na papuri, pasasalamat at pagsamba sa tangi at makapangyarihang pangalan ng inyong dakilang anak na si Jesus. Amen and Amen. Ayan po. So, ngayong oras po na to, we're going to talk about Jesus as our deliverer. In chapter 18 po, ng, ng, sa book of Psalms po, chapter 18 verses 1 to 6, ang sabi po ni King David dito, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of shoals surrounded me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple and my cry came before him. Even to his ears. Talun po tayo sa verses 17 to 19. Ang sabi po dito, He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because He delighted in me. Ngayon po, as we can see in chapter 18 po, ng Psalms, makikita po natin dito si King David. He keeps praising God. He keeps um, declaring how great God is to his life. He keeps saying that God delivered him. Sinabi niya po dito, He delivered me from all my enemies. He saved me. He rescued me. Diba po? Makikita po natin how he is overwhelmed sa kung ano pong pinakita ng Lord sa buhay niya. So, kung paano po siya sinamahan ng Diyos sa walk niya. And Um, sinasabi niya po dito na paulit-ulit, Lord, thank you for delivering me. He delivered me. You delivered me, God. You delivered me, God. Now, um, may question po ako sa inyo ngayong oras na to. When do we need someone to deliver us? Katulad po ni David na palagi-lagi niya pong sinasabi, Lord, thank you for delivering me. We need someone to deliver us when we are coming to a place of hopelessness. Most of the time po, Um, nakakaranas tayo ng nagigipit na gipit tayo, naiipit tayo, alam niyo po yun. Um, our mindset is draining the hope out of us. Yun po yung mga uh, moments na we want someone to rescue us or we want someone to deliver us from that situation. Yung moment po na takot na takot tayo, we are in great sorrow, we are in great anxiety, yan po yung mga panahon that we need God to deliver us. And we know po si David, si King David po, um, in in Samuel, we know po na he's been in a lot of situations where his life was on the line. Si King David po, bago po siya naging hari, he was just a humble shepherd. Ang dami niya pong pinagdaanan. Na nasasabi niya, that's why natetestify niya who God, who God is to his life. 
kasi sa bawat ginagawa niya po, ina-acknowledge niya that it is God who delivered me from this. He is a humble shepherd, pero he is a, a person whose, whose confidence is in God. Remember po yung story po ni King David sa 1 Samuel chapter 17? Nung moment po na natatakot po yung mga tao dun sa Philistine, which is si, si, si Goliath, wala pong gustong lumaban sa kanya. He keeps defying the armies of God. And nung nalaman po ni David yun, shepherd pa lang po siya. Alam niyo po yun, nag-aalaga po siya ng mga uh, lampo ng, ng kanyang ama. At siya po ay tumitirador. Siya po ang nagpoprotekta sa mga sheep na yun. Siya po ang nag... Um, Tumitirador sa mga, even the lions, even the bears, di ba po, slingshot lang po ang gamit niya. Nung moment po na malaman na itong si, si David, nung siya po ay shepherd pa lang, na etong si, etong Philistine na to ay masyadong, maraming natatakot sa Philistine na to, lumapit po siya kay King Saul at sinabi niya, King Saul, like, let's not lose heart. And, and he wanted to, to fight this giant Goliath. He wanted to defeat this gi giant Goliath. Ngayon, kung mababasa po natin yun, kung ibabalikan po natin yun, ang sagot po sa kanya ni King Saul, sa 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 33, ang sabi po ni King Saul sa kanya dito, Saul replied, You are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. Makikita po natin si King Saul, parang nakaka-discourage naman yung sinasabi niya. Young men ka lang, et etong kinakalaban mo eh, warrior na yan, bata pa lang siya. And you know, that words didn't discourage, that words didn't discourage David from defeating um, this giant Goliath. And nung moment po na yun, um, ang sabi niya, Yung reason niya po sa kanyang isip, no, the Lord rescued me, the Lord delivered me from this lion, from this bears, tuwing, tuwing inaalagaan niya, tuwing pinaprotektahan niya yung kanyang lambs. Um, siya po yung nag, 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 nag poprotect the oin at siya po yung, um, nagde-defeat, na pumapatay doon sa mga lion and bears kapag sakaling aatakihin nila po yung kanyang mga pinapastol. And this moment po na sinabi sa kanya ni King Saul, ang sagot po sa kanya ni, ni, ni David sa verse 37, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Ayun po ang sabi niya. Kung titingnan po natin si King si, si David, hindi pa po siya hari nito. Kung titingnan po natin yung yung character niya sa sa mga panahon po nito. He was the youngest among his brothers. Etong si King Saul parang hindi naniniwala sa kanya, pero yung opinion po ni King Saul na hindi mo makakaya, it didn't bothered him anyway. Alam niyo po 'yun. In fact, yung yung confidence niya hindi hindi doon sa kung anong edad niya, hindi doon sa kung anong kaya niyang gawin, na dahil bata pa siya, hindi din doon sa mga armor na meron siya. In fact, kung mababasa po natin yung mga sumunod na verses dyan, ang sabi, binigyan siya ni King Saul ng armor eh. When the moment uh, King Saul let him do it, binigyan po siya ni King Saul ng armor, pero inalis niya po. Ang sabi niya, I'm not used to this. So, ang kinuha niya lang po yung, yung tirador po niya, at kumuha lang po siya ng stone. And yet, no moment po na nandoon na nilapitan niya po si giant Goliath, ito pong si Goliath, he keeps mocking this man. Na he, he keeps mocking this boy na sinasabi niya na masyado kang, mali, masyado kang bata. He's mocking him na how could you defeat me? Ang leet-leet mo, masyado ka pang bata. Paano mo ko i-defeat? Di ba po? Pero you know, this um, David, meron siyang special character na, na nakaka-bless kung, kung titignan po natin na his confidence is in God. His confidence is in God. Na ang sagot niya po kay Goliath, sabi niya po sa verse 45 dito, David said to Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Verse 47, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, 
for the battle is the Lord's and He will give all of you into our hands. Kung makikita po natin, nakakablas po itong ugali, yung, yung character, yung klase ng faith, yung klase ng courage na meron po itong si David when he was still a humble shepherd. Kahit na wala po siyang sword, wala po siyang spears, katulad po ng, ng mga armies, alam niyo po yun. Pero ang, ang tanging nalalaman niya lang sa kanyang isip, ang tanging reasoning lang niya, God has delivered me from these lions, God has delivered me from these bears, and He would deliver me from this giant Goliath. Yun lang po. Ang, ang tanging meron siya sa puso niya, ang tanging meron siyang pinanghahawakan, ang tanging confidence niya po ay ang Panginoon, ay ang Diyos. That's the very moment na kumuha po siya ng, ng bato. Slingshot lang po ang meron siya. Tinirador niya po. etong si giant Goliath at sumakto po na, na, na he he was able to defeat Goliath those times kung titingnan niyo po alam niyo po yun nakakablas po marami pa pong napagdaanan si King David nandiyan po yung pinapapatay na po siya ni King Saul di ba po pero balikan po natin na ang sabi po niya sa verse 17 He delivered me from my strong enemies, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. He knows, he knows na hindi niya kayang kalabanin yung, yung mga taong yun. Hindi niya kayang kalabanin yung mga taong gustong pumatay sa kanya. He knows that. Pero, ang lagi niyang reasoning sa isip niya, ang Lord, ang dami ng pinatunayan sa akin, He delivered me from a lot of things, and right now, He would deliver me again. He would deliver me again from all these things. Di ba po? And most of us po, I know, it, it's it's really, alam niyo po, as I study these um, words of God, um, I'm really, really amazed on how God delivers His people. It never gets old po eh. Kung makikita po natin, itong story po na to, common na po to actually sa mga books nga po, sa schools, pinag-aaralan din po ang story ni David and Goliath, na parang, oh, it's a typical story, but it's not actually a typical story, kasi, alam niyo po yun, it never gets old, there's really power in the words of the Lord, the words of the Lord stands forever, at nakakatuwa, alam niyo po, as I study these words once again, parang, Uh, yung yung nabubuhayan po ako personally yung yung aking yung yung loob ko po ay alam niyo po yung kalakasan po talaga natin ng salita ng Diyos and it's so good to understand it's it's just so amazing to understand that it, it is not by the resources that we have that that we would be saved alam niyo po yun it is not our position it is not our money our wealth it is not who we are it is not our own strength it is not by our by our alam niyo po your knowledge by our wisdom that we are saved it is always by the lords it is always because of god's uh god's works diba po and eto pong moment na to makikita po natin na sinasabi po dito ni ni king david or ni david nung siya po ay shepherd pa lang na it's not It's not the sword, it's not the spear that would save us from this Philistine. Same thing with us. Hindi po yung kung ano yung meron tayo ngayon ang magliligtas po sa atin. Kundi ang Panginoon lang. We cannot rely on the material things that we have. We cannot rely sa mga kat- katulong natin. We cannot rely at all times sa, sa, sa mga nag- nag-guard po sa atin. Kasi in moments na... Uh, masyado tayong nakihirapan in moments na tayo mismo nagbe-breakdown at tayo mismo ay nauupos hindi po tayo basta-basta lang pwedeng humugot eh sa 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 mga kasama po natin of course we need each other don't get me wrong pero lahat po tayo kumbaga tao tayo we are humans we are limited eh pero we need someone to deliver us and it's only God who would deliver us from all this It may not always be the situation that God would change. Sabi nga, di ba po, 1% babaguhin ng Lord yung situation mo kung ikaw ay nahihirapan or if you're facing uh, battles. Hindi man hindi man uh, physical battle, pero di ba, God, hindi mo man ibinubuka po ang bibig mo. The battle is sometimes inside you, di ba? Na God knows your battles. God knows kung ano po yung mga kinakaharap natin. Sinasabi mo man o hindi mo sinasabi. God knows it. And sabi nga, di ba, hindi man po baguhin ng Lord ang situation mo. 
1% lang po yan, miracle na akong baguhin ng Panginoon yung situ situation mo when you're facing difficulty. 1%, God would change your situation. And 99%, God would change us. God would give us a new hope. God would give us a new strength. God would expand expand us. God would give us a new faith. Alam niyo po yun. Uh, to face that battle. God would change our, our perspectives. God would change our mindsets to deal with the difficulty that we're facing. Minsan, isipin po natin, God is not delivering me kasi hindi naman binabago ng Lord yung situation. Eh, situation ko. Every day, I am praying for it, pero ang Lord hindi niya binabago. It's because it's not, it's not, uh, it doesn't mean na ang Lord po ay i-deliver tayo, eh, babaguhin niya like a magic yung paligid mo. Most of the time, God wants us to grow and God is the one who help us go through that situation by breathing new hope, by breathing new strength, and breathing new perspective and mindset for us to be able to conquer, for, for us to be able to go through that situation. Diba po? And hindi lang po, hindi lang po actually si King David yung makikita natin na story sa Bible na talagang dineliver ng Lord. Remember po si uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego nung moment po na pinatapon po sila ni King uh, Nebuchadnezzar sa fiery furnace dahil they didn't bow down doon po sa idol na ginawa nila. Tinapon po sila doon sa apoy, pero nibuhok po nila, hindi po nasunog. Why? Because they remain faithful to the Lord. Because um, they believed in God and God delivered them from that. Sino pa po? Si Daniel. Remember Daniel po, nung pinatapon naman po siya sa lions then because he keeps praying to God? Di ba po? People are waiting for the lion to devour Daniel, but the lion didn't. Diba po, kung makikita po natin, God, God can shut the mouth of that lion kahit gutom pa yan when He sees you being faithful to Him. Amen po ba? And nakakatuwa pong isipin, alam niyo po yun na napakaraming stories po sa Bible like ni Joseph, diba po, na makikitaan po natin na ang Lord talaga, dinideliver po niya yung mga tao niya, yung mga anak niya. Yung mata po ng Diyos ay nandoon po sa mga anak niya na sumusunod po sa kanya. Hindi lang po yun, remember the story po ni Gideon with 32,000 soldiers na it, it ended up being 300 na lalaban sa mga Midianites po. Remember that? Yung story po na yun na sabi ng Lord, uh, alam niyo po ang kalaban po nilang army noon is 135,000 soldiers ang kakalabanin po nila. At sila po ay... 32, 32,000 soldiers lang. Yet, ang sabi po sa kanila ni God, masyado kayong marami. Alam niyo po yun? Um, um, bawasan niyo. Bawasan niyo yung, yung army niyo. Like, sabihin mo sa kanila, sinabi niya po kay Gideon, sabihin mo sa kanila lahat ng natatakot umalis. And so, nabawasan po sila ng 10,000. Ang natira po sa kanila, 22,000. From 32,000 po, lahat ng natatakot makisali sa 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 laban po na yon ay umalis. So naging from 32,000 naging 22,000 po, from 22,000 naging 10,000 po, from 10,000 po naging 300 soldiers na lang po ang lalaban against Midianites. Na ang Midianites po ay may 135 soldier, soldiers. And guess what po? Hindi po sila lumaban gamit yung kanilang armor. Ang laban po nila ay ay ang gamit po nila ay trumpets. Ang sabi po dito, when it is about midnight, they all gather around the camp of enemy soldiers. Then at the same day, they all blow their horns and break their jars and shout Jehovah's sword and Gideon's. When the enemy soldiers wake up, they are confused and afraid. They all begin to run and the Israelites win the battle. Kung makita niyo po dito, ang ginawa lang po nila, no? Binabanggit lang, sinisigaw lang po nila, Jehovah's Sword and Gideon's. Pero wala po silang ibang hawak. Yung horn lang po nila, nag, um, uh, binlow lang po nila yung horn, tapos sumisigaw lang po sila, tapos natakot po yung 135,000. Imagine, 300 lang po yun. 300 lang po sila. Pero through the help of God, God delivered them. Diba po? Na, it's not, it's not the army. It's not, 
the 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 strength alam niyo po yun it's not the the arm or it's not the sword it's not the spear it's not the material things that would save you that would deliver you but the lord the battle is always the lord's Sabi nga po, so Romans 8 verse 31, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? And, and I believe, alam niyo po, nabibless talaga po ako sa words na to ng Lord na, I believe that the God who delivered His people long, long time ago is the same God who would deliver you, who would deliver me, who would deliver us sa kung ano man pong mga battles natin sa buhay. As long as we remain faithful to Him, as long as we obey Him, as long as we have our confidence in Him, alam niyo po yun, He would always deliver us. Naalala ko po yung song, sabi po, yung isang worship song. Napakaganda po ang sabi niya po, there is no glory, but there is no glory in my own wisdom. There is no might in my own strength. There is no power in my own riches. And I will boast in knowing you. There is no power in our own riches. There is no might in our own strength. It is really the Lord who would help us go through these things. It is always the Lord na mas marerelyan natin, madedependehan po natin. And it's so amazing to think po na no matter how think uh, uh, how how small we think we are, no matter how weak we think we are, no matter how useless we think we are, God can use us. God can deliver us. And you know, I want to share this um, verse to you po in Psalm 33, verses 16 to 22, NKJV po. Nakakabless po to. Ang sabi po dito, No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who hope in His mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in Him because we have trusted in His holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us just as we hope in you. Nakakabless po tong, tong verses po na to kasi like, Really, there's no king is saved by the multitude of this army kahit gaano pa kayo karami. Kahit gaano pa kayo karami, no? If God is not for you, nako, it would your own strength wouldn't deliver you. Your own knowledge wouldn't deliver you kasi tayo mismo nauuupos tayong tao, tayo mismo nagbe-breakdown po tayong tao, tayo mismo natatakot po tayo. And the only hope that we have is God. Now, if we we are I know um, if it's very, very applicable po sa situation po natin ngayon. I know lahat po tayo, meron po tayong dinidil in our lives. Lahat po tayo may mga battles po. Hindi man po nating binabanggit, hindi man po natin nakikita, probably inside of us. But you know, when you keep trusting God and when uh, you hope for God, when you wait for the Lord to deliver you, He would really deliver you. Nakakabless po ang sabi dito sa 18, Behold, Psalm 33 verse 18, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who hope in His mercy. Tandaan po natin eh, God really wouldn't, hindi niya po tayo ipapahiya. Once we trust in Him, God would really show how great He is in our lives. No matter how, how small we are, no matter how how young we are, no matter how useful, useless we think we are, no matter how, alam niyo po yun, uh, how we lack resources, it is not those things that matter. It is always the Lord's. He is, um, the, uh, the battle is always in His hands. The battle is always the Lord's. So, yun lamang po. Uh, I hope po na ngayong oras po na to, if ever po na tayo po sa mga sarili natin, meron po tayo mga kinakaharap na battles. I know, hindi po nawawala yan. Pero, you know, I just want to tell you right now, um, ang Panginoon po, He sees our hearts and He would always be there for us. Sabi nga po ng isang kanta rin po, I love this song. Ang sabi po dito, Never once, never once did we ever walk alone. Never once did 
he left he leave us on our own di ba po nakakatuwa pong isipin na ang Panginoon hindi niya po tayo pinababayaan God is always with us especially kapag ikaw ay nananatili pong tapat sa kanya hindi ang Lord hindi niya inaalis yung mga mata niya sa mga tao sa mga anak po niya na patuloy na nagtitiwala po sa kanya at lalong lalo na pinatutunayan ng Panginoon na totoo siya and i believe na one day if if we keep trusting God we we would also So testify like David how God delivered us and you know um the fact nga po na ngayon na nakatapos po tayo ng another year ito pong taon po na to ay isang proof that God has delivered us throughout the, this year di ba po nakakatuwa na ang dami po marami man po tayong napagdaanan nakakalungkot maaring nawalan po tayo maaring may kinaharap po tayong matinding problema pero we are celebrating Christmas and we are going to celebrate another year and that itself is a proof that God is our deliverer and ngayong oras po na to um Patuloy po nating isurrender sa Panginoon ang ating po mga battles kasi hindi man po naiintindihan ng tao in human um hindi man po makokomprehend ng human ang ating po mga pinagdadaanan but God is always there and he understands. Tayo pong lahat ay yumuko at tayo po ay manalangin. Hallelujah Lord, salamat po. Maraming 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 salamat po Ama sa mga salita mo. Natunay, Lord, na nakaka-bless. Natunay, Panginoon, na nakakapuno ng pag-asa, Panginoon. Sa kada battle ng buhay namin, it is not our resources, our position, our fame, Panginoon. It's not, Lord God, yung kung anong meron kami, our own strength and our own, own minds that would deliver us, but it's only you, Panginoon. Continue, Father, to show your people how great you are in our lives, Panginoon. So let's continue, Father God, to move in. Uh, uh, to move in our lives, Panginoon. And one day, Lord God, palagi po namin testify, Panginoon Diyos, na you are so great, Lord God, that you are the God who delivered us, Panginoon Lord. Continue to um, give us new hope and strength, Lord God. Continue, Panginoon Diyos, na kayo ang patuloy na maging deliverer namin, Lord God. We put our trust in you, Lord God. We, 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 Worship you, Panginoong Diyos, dahil naniniwala po kami, Ama, na kayo ang, ang Diyos, Lord God, na palaging magre-rescue sa amin. Ang Diyos na palaging nagpapalakas ng loob namin. Ang Diyos na palaging pinaghuhugutan po namin ng kapayapaan at pag-asa. Lord, always walk with us, Panginoong Diyos, because we cannot do it, Lord God, on our own, Panginoong Diyos. We cannot do it without you, Father God. Thank you very much, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. For your comforting words, Lord God. For your encouraging words, Father. Thank you for the, for the, for the power of your words, Father God. Thank you so much, Lord. We worship you. We glorify your name. We adore you. This is all we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless us all, Paul. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Paul.